Hello everybody, YouTube subscribers and followers. This is Jason from Joker Man Electronics. Today we have a special for my friend out there, Steve. Um, and uh, we do it up at his radio for him. We got it done. Took some time. We had some problems with it. So uh, we got it fixed, buddy. So basically got to wipe it off a little bit here and there. Just going to show you. You know, I have some marks from my, uh, from uh, touching it with that, uh, the grease stuff. So, I'll wipe it all off when and make it look clean. But anyways, how you two subscribe. Thank you for watching my, my videos, following me. Uh, we actually did up a radio, put it in green for you. So, basically, uh, we put this up in green. Um, it looks really good. So, if I turn it off, let me show you how it looks when it's turned off. All right, looks pretty neat. There you go, Steve, man. Green with green, man. Looks pretty damn cool there, dude. So I just thought I'd go uh, show you on the watt meter and everything like that. We have a 250 watt slug. We're gonna bring it up here, we're gonna show you. Get kind of focused there. 250 watt slug. We're reading the top scale, okay? The top scale there. Yeah, all the way over here is 250 watts. All right. I have a multiplier on the back right over here. All right. We're in peak mode right now. So we're going to see how this thing works and everything. So um, we're going to try it out and see how she does. We are on low. The wattage is on low, my friend. All right. So let's see what she does. Audio. Look at there. 250 watts, man. I'll let the radio warm up a little bit. 250 watts there, brother. Let's see it again. Hello. Audio. Alright. We're going to put it on uh, 40 watts. As you can see, we turn it up. Hello. All right, she's gonna do less and less like that because um, when it's on low, it does more wattage because of the fact is it does less on um, modulation. All right. Anytime you uh, change the modulation, anytime you increase the modulation, it's how it works. Anytime you increase the modulation on the radio and you put it up 40 watts or you put it down to 10 watts. <clears throat> the modulation is going to come and this increase okay because it's going to either or it's going to be you higher they put them on the the, the higher that you put the uh the power up the lower uh the lower the modulation is it's always going to be like that maybe you don't understand it steve but you know eventually you'll get the theory i mean so the lower that you put the power uh the power the higher the modulation. It's always going to be like that. I mean, it's going to be great modulation. It's set up for your amp, like you asked me, 4 to 40 watts, okay? Okay? So, I mean, it'll swing really good. All It has all four swinging and everything like that. Uh, YouTube subscribers, I'm just showing you. But that's how it always works, okay? Either you put your radio or your dead key on 4 watts or 2 watts, you're going to have a more of a swing. And um, if you don't believe me, you need to read up on the handbook, okay? The handbook, on uh, um, you, it tells you all. Uh, especially on, you know, go to ham and go look on the, look, look it all up. Even look up anything. Read on radio work, work okay? Even a uh, screwdriver. There's a screwdriver book and everything like that. It will tell you how it works, okay? So... Whether you set your key, let's say you set your key at 9, alright? You set your key at uh, 1 watt. The higher the wattage, the higher the wattage, the lesser the modulation. So, you know, man, if you put you on 40 watts, you know, you can talk on 40 watts, it's not a problem. It's just not going to be as loud. When you have it on low wattage, you're going to be in, even louder. That's how, uh, that's how it's going to be. Just like a telephone. If you put the, uh, if you tune up a telephone, 
and you adjust the telephone, the mic, or it's all the way uh, on the telephone, the power all the way up on the phone, you're going to disincrease the modulation on it. You won't hear you. It'll be kind of softer. So, that's how it works. So, okay. Um, but I have all four swing on this, Steve. Just wanted to tell you how that works, okay? The higher the power, the softer the modulation. The lower the power, the louder the modulation. Is it not going to change? Maybe you're not understanding me when I try to talk to you about it. But, hey, listen. You know, it's loud. It's loud as it can be. You know, like you asked me, 4 watts and 40 watts. And I was, uh, you know, you maybe see the other guy on the, the thing. You just set it up like that. But, uh, you know, that's how you want me to set it up. That's fine. Just remember, the higher the dead key, the softer the modulation. The lower the dead key, the louder the modulation. Because it acts like a yo-yo. It increases the power. Just like in the scope, okay? In the scope, the smaller on uh, the uh, the lower the dead key, the bigger the modulation. All right, the smaller the dead key, um, the bigger the dead key, the um, you know, it ha it'll talk in a bigger, it have a different pattern. So, I hope I understood you. I uh, hope you understood this correctly, Steve. And all you YouTube subscribers, thank you for watching the videos. So I just explaining to Steve out there because he's, I think he's a little having a little hard time understanding um, the theory, but he'll get used to it. I mean, he's been in CV for quite some time, and I know that um, you know some things he don't understand. So here, here is that. Okay, Steve, you have a tone, you have a tone generator. You checked it with the tone inside the back of here, the radio. Okay, so he didn't understand this today. So once you eject the tone. Eject the receive makes the receive uh, when you eject it, then you uh, and you do your adjustment inside here, Steve, with the right with your tone generator, you're you're increasing the receive, okay? So that's how it works, buddy. So I'm going over it. I'm showing you guys what it work, how it works. So anytime you want to put it on S9, this is S9 right in the center, okay? So you adjust your pots in here. <coughs> He adjusted to S9. So, just remember everybody out there who does adjustment on the radio. Anytime you adjust your dead key, any higher than 40, um, like 40 watts or, or you put it up like 10 watts, just remember you're not going to be as loud. You're going to soften the modulation. And you cannot change that. You can't change the theory how it is. It's called science. You know, okay? Uh, is that's how it works. It's just going to be, um, it'll look, the pattern will be bigger on there, but you'll be softer on the other end. So, uh, and uh, you may, people can hear you on the other end, but a lot, when you turn it down and you adjust it when you have an amplifier on there, especially when you have an amplifier, my suggestion, always two watts, take key, not four watts, but it's up to different folks for, for different strokes. That's all I see in my theory, you know. Like I said, I've been doing this for a long time. I know, really, really know a lot about radios, okay. I live for it, I die for it, and I breathe it every day, okay. Just so I can take care of everybody out there who wants stuff. Maybe I'm a little bit slow because I'm only one person. Imagine you running uh, your own shop, okay. Imagine you running a website. Imagine you taking orders. Imagine you have walking people coming into your store. You know, it takes a lot out of you. I mean, I'm only, and I got to do radio work at the same time. So if you want quality work, okay, come to me. I will do your radio so good that you be very impressed. Okay. Even your amplifiers, you need to lean your amplifier, you need transistors, upgrade your transistors in there. I would love to do that for you. You just have to put a money order or, or in there, and uh, uh, usually, I, I uh, for like a any any amplifier up to a um, eight pill, I charge two hundred dollars. After the eight pill, I, I'll charge more than that. Okay, about three fifty. 
because it's a lot of work and it's a lot of time and it's a lot of money okay you know when I do a, a job for you you're getting a satisfaction a hundred percent and that's not a lie I mean there's a lot of a lot of times I, I, I tell you that but that, that is true I mean I put this stuff in here for free okay all this stuff that I did for him because he had problems and he actually this for Steve he actually blew his amplifier out on the back of the radio and everything like that and then it caused it to short out when it did that as a train reaction he burned out the uh, power supply on the back right over here which is one of these it smoked it okay I never seen that happen but it did all right it really put a short on the radio so you know, I spent like 10 hours um, trying to fix everything up. And I did a real good job. I didn't charge him for it because he bought it for me. All right. Bought it one time for me. And uh, that, it was uh, something that happened. Uh, reflect or something like that on the side. On his on, on his end. Because he blew uh, one of these MOSFETs up. One of these MOSFET boards up in, in here. Oh, uh, where is it at? Let me see here. Oh. I don't know where I put the MOSFET board. It's it's around here somewhere. But anyways, it looks just like this. The only thing it has MOSFETs on it. Uh, he blew one of those boards up. And then it causes a train reaction. So I just wanted to go over your, uh, of the radio for a little bit. For my people want to see it. You know, when I do a radio for somebody... I do it from my heart, okay? I'm giving you like a present. It's something that you want, you know. Um, I'm a down-earth guy, and I'm, you know, when you go look on the website and you go buy something from me, you're going to buy something that's going to cost that price, plus I'm giving you $300 more what it is. And I keep saying that, and that's the truth. I didn't have to do this for Steve. I put this in here, the green lights, in here for him for free. That cost me three dollars. That cost me that's actually four four dollars for the LEDs. Okay, all right. Um, and then the labor labor alone was in here that I didn't even charge him for. It was four hundred dollars. But you know, I just seen that you know that he. Uh, I just wanted to do something that you know for the guy that you know because I care about him. Yeah, you know? he, he, he weighs wait for patiently and everything like that because you know he felt like he got uh he got the radio something happened to the amplifier and he spent a lot of money on this so it had to happen on his end because i could tell anytime you bring a radio to me i'm very smart okay i know what happens you know maybe you don't understand it or whatever but anytime you burn a mosfet out and you don't have your, it could be your antenna, you know, I'm not a match on your antenna or anything like that. Anytime you bring, uh, burn something out, it has a signs. It shows you, okay? It tells you. There's always a story to everything you have. It's like a science, okay? So, you know, um, but I wanted to go and explain to you guys detail by detail what I did, okay, I did, you know, did a full alignment on the radio for Steve. And Steve is just, it, it was like, it's just, uh, you know, I just wanted to do that for you uh, to help you out, okay. Not that it wasn't before when you bought it for me. I just was, I wanted to do a little bit more. Because usually, you have to pay that extra service for doing this, okay. I just don't do that for free for anybody, you know. I mean, I got to get paid, too. I, I mean, I got to make a living. I got a family to take care of. Just like everybody else out there. All right? So, you know, I kind of eat, um, kind of equal out a little bit. What what should I do or what can I do? Because I got to take care of everybody. I got radio work. Oh, lots of radio work to do. You know? So, you know, I got to make sure everybody else is happy out there. I can't spend... 10 hours on the radio, I can't spend that long, but uh, I spent 5 hours on one day, then I spent 5 hours on another day, then I had, because uh, I had to tear it apart and everything, and set it up to get the parts, but 
We're all set, man. It's all working good for you. Uh, we're going to